Hey Tay here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. We all know that the update on the Quest platform can be just a hit and miss. Well, till now. Because Meta just released a new tool to run directly through your browser to actually force the update of your headset. So that means that you're not gonna be stuck anymore in the past, but you can join everyone in the future. This is super new, so I decided to do the guinea pig over here and give it a try with my Quest 2 that was stuck on V64. So well, let's discover together how to update our Quest right now. But be aware, what it seems a little easy is though kind of tricky and easy to fail. So I have some tricks that I learned to make it go smooth and also to avoid breaking your device. So well, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. I don't know you, but it happened to me quite a lot that I was uh, looking at the blog post about the new update. I will rush to my headsets and uh, try to see if the update was there, trying to refresh, trying to restart. Uh, but many times like these updates were just not coming because Meta used a particular rollout where it doesn't just send it to everyone directly, but sometimes it takes some days, sometimes it takes some weeks, sometimes it gets even a month uh, to get the latest update with the latest feature. And so imagine how much I rejoice when Meta created a tool to actually update directly with your PC via the browser your quest, forcing it true. Let's be honest, this is not meant actually to just update your device, but it's more like if you have problem and bricked and uh, you know, you get stuck on the update, just go through it and to reinstall it directly. But hey, we can use it at our advantage, right? The process, by the way, is super easy. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below that are gonna bring you through everything, but we can do it together right now because unfortunately at the beginning it was just failing over and over and then I understood why. So I wanted to share with you my experience and hopefully Meta in the future will fix this little problem to make it easier and straightforward for everyone. Because in some cases you might think that you break your device when in reality it's waiting there for the update. All right, so first thing to do is to go on meta.com slash help slash quest slash software underscore update. And once you're there, get ready to select your device. In my case right now, I'm gonna go with the Quest 2 because I tried with the Quest 3 with my V66 update and well, it said that it was all up to date, so it didn't need anything there. What is needed here, of course, is your PC, your Quest device, two gigabyte of space to actually download the update directly on your PC. That is gonna work in the backend, so you're never gonna see that file, unfortunately. And of course, a USB data cable to connect with it. So after selecting the device, we have to go to the boot screen. To do that, we actually have to turn off our device first and then press together the volume down button and the power button. When the Meta logo is gonna appear, you can just leave them all together because you're gonna be prompted with a new little menu that you can see in the picture over here and you can move up and down with a volume rocker. So with that, you can scroll down to side load update and click on the power button to select. At this point, the Quest screen will go completely black, but don't worry about it. What we have to do is on the PC, connect to device with a USB cable and click on connect device in the page. And your prompt is gonna appear in the top left part. And at that point, we can click on it, click connect, and uh, yeah, the update is gonna start. It's also recommended, by the way, to back up every save. This thing, by the way, is not gonna wipe your headset. It's just gonna work like a regular update, but you know, to be 200% sure, maybe it's better to do it beforehand. Now the meta servers here are not the best probably. The update was lower than what I imagined, considered it was less than two gigabyte anyway. And uh, one thing that you have to be aware of is that if you disconnect or if your quests get disconnected randomly, well, the update is gonna stop directly, even if it's still downloading. So you have to start from the beginning all over again. And here is where the first problem actually comes out. Because at the beginning I was just trying to update and download this update, but it was gonna like keep failing and failing because the USB was getting disconnected. I thought there was a problem with the PC, but it turns out that the Quest just uh, decides to go to sleep uh, while it's doing the update. So the only solution that I found and the thing that you will have to do probably uh, to fix it as well is just to keep moving the headset to keep the accelerometer going, the tracking going, so it's not gonna go to sleep. And so USB connection will gonna stay connected. This shouldn't happen because you are in the bootloader, but it is what it is. As I said, the download is not the fastest, it might also be because of my connection, but yeah, you'll 
you'll get through it and your arm is gonna be even stronger. Also, this tool is kind of heavy on the browser thing because my browser crashed two times, uh, but hey, nothing happened to the device. Good, I guess. So after downloading, it's gonna start to install and you can see it directly going through. Also, in the headset, you're not required to wear it anyway, but you can do it if you feel like so. By the way, a little thing to be aware of. If the update actually fails, you're gonna be stuck in the black screen of the boot loader menu. Uh, so it will feel like the headset is completely break because it's not gonna respond, it's not gonna do anything. So what you have to do is actually to keep pressing on the power button to actually shut down completely. And even if you turn it on again, it will go again to that black screen. So be sure to actually, again, after turning it off, use again the power down button and the power button together to go back in the bootloader menu. And this time just select the boot device as the first option. And the point you're gonna be back to the regular OS and uh, so yeah, it's all fine. And -da, the update is gonna be done. But again, this is pretty easy in this way. You're gonna be able to just force update your device. Sometime though, you're still not gonna receive your latest update because maybe you are in V64, V63 like I was and it's gonna just bring you to V65. At that point, when you try to update again, uh, well, it's just gonna have the file of V65 inside. So it's gonna say, okay, let's reinstall it. Uh, no worry about it, uh, but there's actually a little solution to force it a bit better. And that's actually cleaning your history with the cookies and the cache that you have on your browser. At the point, it's gonna ask again, uh, the meta servers to download again. And if you're already on V65, for example, probably it's gonna be V66 this time. It doesn't always work right away. Sometimes you just reinstall V65, but trying over and over, I don't know if it's an error with Meta, then uh, you'll get there. Whew, they made it out anyway. <laughs> but here we have it. I think that all of this is actually a solution to a problem that shouldn't be there at the very beginning. The fact that they update in trenches, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, not just because sometimes you get stuck to an older update and sometimes you never receive the newer one, uh, but also because sometimes you receive the new update with some missing features. And uh, just to be aware of, uh, if you have V66 and you want like the latest pass through, this is not gonna bring it with it. Uh, this is like, happening on the server side, so uh, you get the files for the update, but nothing else. You're still stuck without those features. Uh, we, you just have to wait for Meta for it. And while this is a nice addition, I wish Meta was a bit more straightforward with the updates. When V66, V67 is gonna be available, everyone will receive it day one. With all the features they're talking about in their blogs or we're talking about in the videos, uh, but yeah. It's not happening yet. This is the first step, I hope. And uh, well, at least we have uh, some way to try to force this update anyway. By the way, I think this is a great feature also for support purposes. Instead of just sending back the headset, if you have a problem, we can just try to reset our firmware, reset our update process directly from here, saving you time, money, and that is good. But here we have it, guys. I hope this was useful for you because my Quest 2 actually needed uh, the latest update. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more via tech. If you really love the channel, subscribe the button there. You can refer to also Patreon. Thanks to all the Patreons to join the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.